comparing distantly related species and closely related species. Highly conserved genes have changed very little over the time. These help to clarify a relationship among species that diverged from each other long ago. When we do the comparison between distantly related species, we see that those genes which are highly conserved, they change very little. Comparing distantly related species like bacteria, archaea, and eukaryotes diverged from each other approximately 2 to 4 billion years ago. Highly conserved genes can be studied in one model organism. Mean we can study those genes which are highly conserved between the species. Those genes can be studied with the help of taking any model organism. Comparing Closely related species. Genetic differences between closely related species can be correlated with phenotypic differences. Genetic comparison of several mammals with non mammals help to identify what makes them the mammals. So, if we do the comparison at the DNA level or at the genetic material, we can identify that what is the difference between the genomes of the mammal and the genomes of the non-mammals. So with the help of those uh, genes or the genetic makeup, we can differentiate that what is the difference of the DNA and what is the difference of the genome that makes the mammal and non-mammal. Now, now if we do the comparison, between the genome of the human and the chimpanzee, human and chimpanzee genome different from each other one point, approximately 1.2% at single base pair and up to 2.7% because of the insertion and deletions. So overall, the difference between the genomes of humans and the genome of chimpanzee the difference or at the level of the genome is approximately 1 to 1.5, between 1 to 1.5 percent. Several genes are evolving faster in case of humans when we study and when we do the comparison between the chimpanzee. In case of humans, there are many genes which are involved faster as compared to the genes which are present on the genomes of the chimpanzee. Genes involved in defense against malaria and tuberculosis and in regulation of brain size gene code for transcription factor. These are all those genes that evolved faster in case of humans when we compare it with the genomes of the chimpanzee. Humans and chimpanzee differ in the expression of FOXP2 gene whose product turn on the genes involved in the vocalization. So this is the comparison between the FOXP2 gene that due to the expression of this gene, the humans, they can communicate, they can talk with each other, while on the other hand, chimpanzees, they cannot talk, they cannot communicate with each other. Differences in this gene has already been explained that the, the difference in the communication of the humans and with the um, chimpanzee is due to this gene. So if we conclude that what is distantly related species and closely related species, highly conserved genes are changed very little over the time. These help to identify a relationship among the species that diverged from each other long ago.